Hello everybody and welcome to the Whiskey Dictionary. Tonight I'm going to be talking to you about another Irish whiskey. However, before you turn away, because I know that there was a lot of Irish whiskey recently, I wanted to do this one because it sounds unique and it seemed pretty cool. This is a small batch rye Irish whiskey and it's from Kilbegan. And you might say to yourself, I didn't realize that Irish whiskey is you know, used rye, and for the most part, they don't. In fact, this is the only one of its caliber uh, in all of Ireland. They use 30% rye in here, and that's huge for this kind of a thing. So I thought it was unique enough that I wanted to try it. Figured I would present it to you guys. Kilbegan is a, a distillery I have not covered on this channel before, so it makes sense to tell you a little bit about them. So Kilbegan is 260 years old, which is old even by Irish standards, and they uh, you know, we haven't been around specifically for 260 years. They, they've been there, but they haven't been active. They shut down for a decent period of time in the middle there. But in 2010, they had a resurgence and they were reopened, started making their own stuff. However, they also source things from Cooley. Now in Ireland, sourcing from Cooley or Middleton or Bushmills is not as frowned upon as some people frown upon bourbon sourcing from MGP, for example, or Rise. But in Ireland, it is kind of expected that you're going to eventually do your own thing too. And because of that, they put this out because this is 100% them. And also why I kind of thought about starting here. Now, Kilbegan has an impressive heritage, at least from my point of view. And they are kind of one of the distilleries that I enjoy covering on this channel because they have an interesting story, right? So they're the oldest licensed distillery in Ireland, which that alone is pretty impressive but they also have a 180 year old copper pot still that is still in use, which is absolutely insane to think about. It's the oldest one in the world by far. Um, now, one other thing that I ran into is that apparently back in 2007, one of those ghost hunting channels went and did a thing at Kilbegan Distillery. And you know, they had, whether you believe in ghosts or not, the story is that those people, um, the ghost hunters found, you know, ghosts in the distillery of like the past, distillers and like the son of the owner or something like that who died uh, too early because he was hanged and like a bunch of other stuff. You know, the typical ghost stories that you would find in the place that old. So I love running, or, uh, love running across things like that when I'm doing these kind of reviews because it just keeps things a little bit more interesting. <laughs> it's not just the typical story of it passed hand to hand to hand to hand and hey, there's your whiskey. Um, anyway, so let's talk about the whiskey, speaking of which. Now, Kilbegan is maybe not a brand that you hear too much about. However, some of the brands that Kilbegan actually owns are, for example, Tyrconnell and Connemara, which is a peated Irish whiskey. And then there's also two gingers and then obviously Kilbegan. Kilbegan itself has a few different expressions. There is the traditional Irish whiskey, there's the single grain, and then there is the small batch rye. This whiskey is 86 proof, which is 43% 40, uh, ABV. And it is aged in copper pot stills, 30% rye, 70% malted barley. And it is the only Irish whiskey with such a large rye count. So let's get into the nosing and the tasting. <sighs> it's very fresh, very like light and fresh. I, I actually very much enjoy this smell. Kind of reminds me of spring and maybe like a little bit of a, <laughs> you ever smell, sometimes you'll get like a candle or something, you know, I don't know if you're into candles or your wife is or whatever. I know my wife loves candles and sometimes she'll get one of those like summer breeze candles <laughs> and this actually kind of smells a little bit, or no, it's nothing, nothing that generic as summer breeze. It's always like, like, like white linen on a clothesline candle because, <laughs> you know, that's what I want my house to smell like. Anyway, um, when I smell this, I do smell, it's, it just reminds me of something just nice. Honestly, it's kind of putting me in a good mood. <laughs> it's just very light and crisp and, and kind of wonderful. So to put something a little bit more um, tangible to it though, I'm getting apples, um, which was probably some of that light crispiness. Um, there's grass in here, and that also kind of reminds me a bit of springtime, obviously. That's when all the work starts. <laughs> and then uh, there's actually a little bit of bread in here too, almost like a fresh loaf of bread. A Little bit of caramelized sugar. Um, wouldn't say like a, like a literal caramel, but more like the, you know, trying to cook off some sugar, like if you're making a simple syrup or something. Just that, that it's not necessarily caramelized sugar, but it's the sugary smell in the air. And then um, 
maybe like a, what is the kind of pear? Um, I want to say it's an Asian pear, but I genuinely don't know enough about pears. <laughs> I've had a few of them. It's, it's the brown one, not the green one. Uh, smells like the brown pear. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and give this a taste. Cheers. Hmm. That is a very interesting taste. I've obviously had some of this. However, some of it was on a live stream uh, mixed with Fireball whiskey for my um, April Fool's Day live stream. Put a link up there. It's worth watching. But um, I haven't had this other than making my tasting notes. And just drinking it now, kind of it's like 10.30 at night, I'm filming, I'm having a good time, and this just tastes really good. I could see this as something I would actually just sip on and, and really enjoy. It's got a lot of character. And what I like about this is that because of the 30% rye, it's not 95 or something crazy that you'd get in a rye whiskey. It has some of the characteristics of that, that crisp, like double distilled kind of flavor that you get from an Irish whiskey that builds up to a bit of a rye flavor, but it never gets totally out of control. It's never the kind of rye that you drink and you like think of it as a challenge, <laughs> you know? This is more of an accentuation of an Irish whiskey using rye. It's very interesting. Um, okay, so anyway, let's, let's just move past the fact that it's got rye. I, I've got, I'm getting some like vanilla flavors. I'm also getting some allspice in there. Um, a little bit more of that pear. The brown one. <laughs> and then uh, uh, maybe a hint of oak at the end. I would say the oak is very minor on this. Um, I'll put it on the screen either way, though. So overall, I like this whiskey actually quite a bit. Um, it's only about 30 to $35, I think, which is not bad at all. I think you can get this. Actually, I think it's been out since November last year, so it's not unattainable. Um, I don't recall seeing it on the shelf too, too much, but having talked to, to somebody from Kilbegan somewhat recently, they mentioned that they're, they're pushing this. So I would imagine that you'll see this on the shelves, and if you do, I think you should buy it. Um, the price point is a huge selling factor for me. The fact that it is going into spring right now, at least in the United States, is a huge selling point for me too. I mean, everything about this actually feels like the right time of year for this whiskey. So if you're watching, watching this in like December, wait a few weeks <laughs> or a few months, I should say. Um, but either way, I would suggest this as a buy. Um, I'm actually glad that I, I decided to jump back into an Irish whiskey just to cover this one. So thank you for joining me here on the Whiskey Dictionary. Check out my Patreon page. That's something that I, I don't mention nearly enough on here. I know I have the credits at the end. Check out the Patreon page. There's actually some very cool stuff in there and I've been being super active in there. You, some of you that follow me on Instagram may notice that I haven't been as active there. It's because I'm more active on Patreon. And frankly, I, um, you know, I'm super motivated every time I get a new patron. So if you're interested in helping to support the channel and keeping this channel going, if you've ever considered, now's a good time to jump in because there's also a lot of little perks and stuff. I think you'll I think you'll really enjoy the extra extra stuff you get through Patreon. Anyway, um, if you're interested in buying some whiskey coins, just send me an email at thewhiskeydick at gmail.com. Other than that, I hope you have a great rest of your day and you should buy this whiskey. So cheers. <laughs>